one of the men I work with here. Chris is also one of my partners in, at the county community college. And Chris and I have spent a lot of time on the road. And, and I know this is uh, hurtful to him and to his wife, to his son. So after we pray today, let's remember them as we go forward in our everyday life. This poem that I found, the author is unknown, but it's called The Life of a Police Dog. It reads as follows. You brought me home one sunny day. With you for years, I would surely stay. I met your pack, children and wife, or husband. I began to love my newfound wife. I slept on your couch, put in your bed. You looked at me lovingly while cutting my hair. We trained for months, and our bonding grew. We were both partners, buddies in blue. We did school demos, and I never did wrong. Over all the years, my love for you grew strong. How I love to work, to stand up and bark. In the back of our car, from light to dark. We went call to call, having fun all the way, till the call came on that one fateful day. The man with a gun, the dispatcher did say, I jumped from my car when it pointed your way. Before leaving home, I was told, keep them safe by your wife. Chris and I spent a lot of time on the road, and, and I know this is uh, hurtful to him, and to his wife, to his son. So after we pray today, let's remember them as we go forward in our everyday life. This poem that I found, the author is unknown, but it's called The Life of a Police Dog. It reads as follows. You brought me home one sunny day. With you for years, I would surely stay. I met your pack, children and wife, or husband. I began to love my newfound wife. I slept on your couch. I put in your bed. You looked at me lovingly while cutting my hair. We trained for months, and our bonding grew. We were both partners, buddies in blue. We did school demos, and I never did wrong. Over all the years, my love for you grew strong. How I love to work, to stand up and bark. In the back of our car, from light to dark. We went call to call having fun all the way, till the call came on that one fateful day. The man with a gun, the dispatcher did say, I jumped from my car when it pointed your way. Before leaving home, I was told to keep them safe by your wife. I knew at that moment for you, I would give my life. When you go home tonight, tell your wife I did good, strong, tall, and proud, on the ground that I stood. I am gone now, this much is true, but I've done my job well of protecting you. Thank you, Lord, your partner, faithful friend. You will be greatly missed. Let us bow our heads. Dear Lord, we come before your presence. This day of honor, this day of respect, in this place of ceremony at this point of time. We come before your presence to remember the sacrifice, the legacy, the job of law enforcement that was done by Honda. We thank you for the eight and a half years, I believe, that he served St. Clair Shores Police Department and his citizens. We thank you for all of the men and women who had broken the law that he helped apprehend. We thank you for every smile that he put on the child's face. We thank you for all the times that he let someone pet him on the head that he barked in joy. We thank you for all the work that he did in our schools, in our streets, in our cities, and even at the department. When days were hard and rough, and he would just walk up to an officer and let him touch him, and make that officer feel better. We pray for the Perriot family, Chris, and his wife, and his son, who not only saw him as a work dog, as a canine unit, but saw him as part of the family. Any loss brings forth grief and bereavement. You said in your word that's the purpose of your existence to mend the broken heart. Keep us safe in your arms during times of hurt and pain. We ask right now for this family that's going to grieve for a long time because of this loss. 
that eventually the open scar that is wounded, bruised, will become just a wound of memory of the good times that they had with Hanukkah. We ask that you be with them in the night time hours when they wake up and miss him during the day when the bird flies overhead and they begin to weep because of his loss. This is the time that, according to Psalms 23, that we need goodness and mercy with us all the days of our lives. For our department, we pray for the loss of Honda. For our city, we pray for the loss of Honda. We thank you for everyone who had a hand in putting the ceremony together. We thank you for Dr. Dine, who got out of his bed that night to drive to be there with the family. That is exceptional. We ask that you bless him and reward him for his faithfulness. This we say thank you for the son, who not only saw him as a work dog, as a canine unit, but saw him as part of the family. Any loss brings forth grief and bereavement. You said in your word that's the purpose of your existence, to mend the broken heart. Keep us safe in your arms during the time of hurt and pain. We ask right now for this family that's going to grieve for a long time because of this loss, that eventually the open scar that is wounded, bruised, will become just a wound of memory of the good times that they had with Hanukkah. We ask that you be with them in the night time hours when they wake up and miss him during the day when the bird flies overhead and they begin to weep because of his loss. This is the time that, according to Psalms 23, that we need goodness and mercy with us all the days of our lives. For our department, we pray for the loss of Honda. For our city, we pray for the loss of Honda. We thank you for everyone who had a hand in putting the ceremony together. We thank you for Dr. Dine, who got out of his bed that night to drive to be there with the family. That is exceptional. We ask that you bless him and reward him for his faithfulness. This we say thank you for, in your precious name. Amen. Amen. I knew at that moment for you, I would give my life. When you go home tonight, tell your wife I did good. Strong, tall, and proud on the ground that I stood. I am gone now, this much is true. But I've done my job well of protecting you. Thank you, loyal partner, faithful friend. You will be greatly missed. Let us bow our heads. Dear Lord, we come before your presence, this day of honor, this day of respect, in this place of ceremony at this point of time. We come before your presence to remember the sacrifice, the legacy, the job of law enforcement that was done by Honda. We thank you for the eight and a half years, I believe, that he served St. Clair Shores Police Department and his citizens. We thank you for all of the men and women who had broken the law that he helped apprehend. We thank you for every smile that he put on a child's face. We thank you for all the times that he let someone pet him on the head, that he barked in joy. We thank you for all the work that he did in our schools, in our streets, in our city. For this amazing animal that was not only part of this community, but part of my family. Um, I remember the day that Dr. Dine and Dr. Dine the last chief in office called me to say, can you come into the office for a moment? I'd like to talk to you. Of course I was like, okay, for what? I didn't even live in the city, what's going on? Um, so I went in and he used to be a handler as well in his career. So he said to me that he wanted to offer Chris this opportunity to be a canine handler for the city of St. Marshalls. I of course had many doubts as Linda here, my friend, will tell you, the first thing I thought of was hair, larger deposits in my backyard, <laughs> and if they were going to get along, if he was going to get along with the animals that we already have at home, because we have a lot of fur babies. We are collectors, <laughs> uh, all of you that know us. Very excited, and I was never going to stand in my husband's way of his dreams. So being able to have that conversation with uh, Wallman, um, Chief Wallman, uh, he said to me that this is going to change your life. This will change your life. I was able to do this in my career, and I truly believe that this will change your household. And it has. And now, I used to hear six footprints go to work, and now I hear two footprints come home. 
So things are just different. It's definitely going to be a change for us. And we're looking forward to moving forward. Uh, he may be gone, but he's, he's not. You know, um, I still hear him eating the other dog's food in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still swiffering up hair and I'm finding places. Um, it's just... It's different, and for all the canine officers here today, they truly know that feeling of working and then loving that animal like it's your child. I mean, we have animals at home that we love dearly, but Hondo is different. It's just different. He protected my husband. He had my husband six every day, every single day. And walking up today and seeing all those officers and the canine officers here today took everything I had. Not to want to hug each and every one of them. And I want to send a special thank you to Officer Tim Harris of Gross Point Farms for reaching out to me the very next day and handling so much of the, the canine presence that you see today. I, I don't even know him. I met him once. And he was the first person that reached out to me. Many others reached out as well, but he took the bow by the horn and just ran with it. And I want to just give him a round of applause because he's been amazing. Again, all the, the dogs here today, love your animals. Love them. Hug them, kiss them. At the beginning of Chris's career with Hondo, it was very difficult for us at home because we just wanted to love on him and we couldn't because he had been created and the training with the master trainer was very specific. Um, when Hondo and I had our first bond was Chris's first uh, work vacation that he went on and I bribed Hondo with treats. <laughs> and then by the time Chris got home, Hondo was sleeping in our bed. <laughs> Which he did every day since then. And we will miss him very much. And I just again, I want to thank the City of St. Clair Shores for the opportunities that they have been with Chris with Hondo and all the extra training and everybody that knows Chris knows that he does nothing small. He goes above and beyond and does far more than is ever expected. And for that I'm so very proud of you Chris. You are not only an amazing father, husband, police officer, but he and I already about Chris. That's the, the downside of going last, I guess, but, but it's all true. Um, just over three years ago, we were blessed uh, to have Chris join our training group. He came over to our training group, and if anybody in here, I'm, and I'm sure most of you know Chris, uh, he's a hard charging, just he goes out, he does everything that he can do, like Tony said, to the, to the, to the nth degree. Uh, Chris and I got to ride together as, as partners in Detroit when we were together. He was the same way there. When I saw him come into our training group with Hondo, it was a perfect match. Hondo was the exact same way. There was no question about it. The, they were a standout team. They trained hard. They worked hard. They did everything right. So the service, Chris, that Hondo provided to you, to this police department, to this community, to the surrounding communities, and, and to our training group is invaluable, and, and it's gonna, he's going to be greatly missed. So we came together as a training group, and we decided that we wanted to, to get a plaque uh, to honor the life of, of K-9 Hondo. And if I could, I'd like to read it. Chris, why don't you come up for a second? This plaque has a picture of Hondo on it. It says, an honor and tribute to K-9 Hondo. End of watch, 7-11-16. Trust in me, my friend, for I am your comrade. I will protect you with my last breath. When all others have left you and the loneliness of the night closes in, I will be at your side. And when our time together is done and you move on in the, in the world, remember me with kind thoughts and tales. For a time we were unbeatable. Nothing passed among us undetected. From your friends of the Southeast Michigan Canine Training Group. That is an extremely true statement, especially for this team. So thank you. I uh, I want to thank everyone for attending. Uh, really, really, truly. Really
really appreciate it. Uh, that day when he passed, uh, July 11th, I came home from the gym and did what I normally do every day. Open the door for his crate to let him out and I knew something was wrong with him. And as a handler, you know, we have that bond with our dogs. And like I've said many times, unless you uh, unless you've walked this path, you really truly have no idea what that bond is. And I knew there was something wrong with him. And I talked to Dr. Dye on the phone and, and we brought him in. And uh, I got there about 2.45, and at 9.45 that evening, he was coming. He had, uh, we don't really have time to prepare that loss. But I have a, a huge family in blue. And I received more phone calls, emails, messages, and uh, they all really helped, tremendously helped. Um, men and women who have gone through exactly what I was going through at the time and told me just to hang in there. It was going to get better. That there's a time to grieve for Hondo, but. Today we're here to celebrate his life. To celebrate what he did for me, for my family, and for this community. He served eight years, over eight years, with honor, with distinction, and made me a better cop. I have uh, never worked with a partner who wanted to come to work and put bad guys in jail as much as Hondo did. That's all he wanted to do. And you ask any canine handler and they'll tell you, when you put your uniform on, your dog's running from you to the back door, from you to the back door. And that was every single day. Um, he, uh, he was definitely a working dog. That's what he bred to do and, and you could tell because that's all he wanted to do was work. And uh, he was an awesome dog, just an awesome dog. Uh, I, I, I could never believe uh, just how much he loved to do what he was born to do. And uh, amazing that even near death, he died Monday evening, the Thursday before, and 24, 30 hours later, he was gone. And uh, just amazing, just amazing. So. Um, In your travels, I know that we're all busy with life, but uh, if you ever have the rare opportunity to, uh, to meet a handler and his dog, make sure you shake your hand. Thank them for what they do. Because uh, as a police officer, this is by far the greatest job, the greatest job that you can have working with a dog. Greatest job. Most rewarding but probably the most frustrating as well. And handlers know what I'm talking about. But uh, he uh, was an incredible part of our family, an incredible partner, an incredible friend, and uh, he will be dearly, dearly missed. We will never forget him. We shouldn't forget him. We always should remember what he did for all of us. And uh, I just want to thank everyone again, all those who have reached out to us, sent us cards, notes, messages. Uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate and I know my family greatly appreciates the love, the compassion that's been shown to us uh, in this time of our grief. But um, remembering who Hondo was, the values that he stood for, the values that all of us who do this job every day stand for, um, I think that's going to help us get through this and uh, just remembering who he was and what he did. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Thank you.